Uh, welcome to this OnePlus Nord review. So let's get started with the specs to get them out of the way. The new mid-range device from OnePlus comes with a Snapdragon 765 high-end mid-range processor with 8GB of LPDDR4X RAM, 128GB of storage space. Highlight is the 6.44 inch Full HD AMOLED screen with a 90Hz refresh rate that indeed feels very smooth and fluid. The system, Oxygen OS based up on Android 10, runs without stutters and offers regularly software updates and security fixes. In my testing time I got free updates to the device that mostly fix bugs like the discoloration when running at 90Hz. Let's take a look at the rest of the hardware, first the buttons. OnePlus Note still features the mute switch on the right, which allows you to switch between ringer mode, vibration and completely mute. It's a cool addition and I wish outside of OnePlus and Apple other manufacturers would ship with something like this. Underneath the mute switch you can find the power button. The volume rocker is located on the opposite side on the left. All buttons are offering a good clicky feeling. On the top there's a microphone, nothing else. The bottom features the mono speaker USB Type-C 2.0 with USB OTG support. Next to it it's a microphone and a SIM slot which allows you to put in two nano SIMs. No storage expansion via micro SD card. On the front underneath the display you can find the optical fingerprint reader which is reliable and unlocks the device pretty fast. On the front we also have a camera pill shape cutout for two front facing cameras with a 32 megapixel main camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide. The 32 megapixel offers very good capabilities despite the fact it is lacking autofocus it creates nice selfies. The ultra wide one is more of a typical mid range performer but at least OnePlus offers the flexibility of an ultra wide camera on the front for selfies. On the back we have technically four cameras, real practical are only 48 megapixel main sensor which offers good exposure, a bit of a typical sometimes two saturated images with cool looking HDR effect and the 8 megapixel ultra wide one that like on the front falls a bit behind when it comes to the main cam but offers the typical mid range quality. The other sensor, the 2 megapixel macro and 5 megapixel depth sensors are almost useless. I would have liked OnePlus saving money on those and instead offer a bit better ultra wide sensor on the back. In low light only the main cameras on the back and front are really really usable. The ultra wides uh, produce too much of a noise and uh, offer too dark exposures most of the time. All in all the camera system is solid and reacts fast, one of the best cameras for the mid rangers currently. When it comes to sound, the uh, mono speaker produces loud and rich sound that does not distort. Overall it's a solid good speaker, stereo would have been better even if the normal earpiece would have been used as a second speaker. Battery life with the 4114 mAh battery is amazing, 9 hours screen on time is no problem and this with 90Hz enabled. With 60Hz you can imagine you can get even more. You can definitely make it through one day and a half if you are a power user and two even three days if you don't use the phone too often. Again fantastic battery life for a mid-range device. Also fantastic is the 30 watt power charging which can get you 70% battery in just 30 minutes. There is not much else to say. GPS usually works good, voice calls are fine, LTE support and Wi-Fi connections are good. All in all the OnePlus Nord is one of the best mid-range contenders this year and definitely something you should take a look at if you are searching for a phone under 400 bucks. I have a lot more about this phone on my channel like a dedicated camera review for daylight and nighttime as well as a comparison to the Xperia 10 Mark II cameras and a lot more. Just take a look, like and subscribe to my channel. That's everything for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and until the next time. Bye.